Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, it is I, Karen Deneen, back with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this is another Dollar Tree haul. And all for good reason. I say that because I actually went into the Dollar Tree to purchase some highlighters and things uh, so that I can get back into my Bible study. And of course, you know, while I'm in there, I had to purchase other items. But this is going to be a small haul. So if you are interested in seeing what I purchased, then stay tuned. The first item that I purchased was this two-piece pencil set. Uh, I thought this was so cute because it comes with two pencil cases and I'm going to take them out of the package so that you can see them. I bought these for the uh, highlighters and markers and pens that I purchased also from the Dollar Tree and I'll show you those in a moment. I bought these to do my Bible study with. Uh, they are two pieces in the package, one in a solid and then one in the print. I really like the print. It has dream, peace, smile, laugh, love. All the things that I think are befitting for my uh, Bible study. So I keep my markers uh, in here and my highlighters in here. And my color ink pens I'm going to be placing inside here. And I'll show you those in a moment. The next item that I purchased was the sticky notes. Uh, this is uh, by Jot and it's 200 sticky notes. As you can see, it has the vibrant colors. I love that it has the neon yellow, the neon orange, neon green, and then the neon pink. Um, I'm going to be using these to mark off pages in my Bible um, and write notes on them. But I thought these were really nice and you know again perfect for bible study i also bought these highlighters and i had already taken them out of the package before i realized that i was going to include them in my haul but it came in a set of four they are neon bright colors you get orange the pink yellow and purple and again this is perfect for highlighting uh, scriptures in your Bible. And also I bought these gel pens, uh, a pack of eight, and they come in different colors. And I thought this would be perfect to take notes and also uh, use as color coding to refer back to my highlighted scriptures where I can write notes on the side of my pages. So perfect gel pens and they write really, really well. They are smooth writing pens with a soft grip. I love a pen that writes really well and smooth. But these are the colors that you get. I have the green, what's this blue, pink, purple. Uh, this is kind of a burgundy color, fuchsia, kind of, I mean, um, rose pink. Um, what is that, red? orange and then black you guys know i don't have my glasses on so forgive me the next item that i purchased uh was this set of uh, markers they come in a set of 20 and again perfect for highlighting scriptures uh jotting down your notes um and all of that jazz i don't i haven't used these yet and i hope they don't bleed through they are not the um Thick line markers. They are fine line. So I think these would be uh, perfect for that. Uh, also great to use as underlining. So I hope these work out for me. So I'm going to show you how I plan to keep all of this together in the pencil cases that I bought. These are, here are the pencil cases. I like that it has the little string with the knob attached. Great for unzipping. So I'm placing the 20 markers inside here, as well as my thick highlighters. I'm going to keep those in this bag. And as you can see, it holds everything. And it's not even full. I can actually put my pens in here as well. But I want to keep my pens separate from my markers. So I'm going to show you. Um, just want to give you an idea on 
how much you can put inside them. The fabric is really nice. It's kind of a silk fabric, satiny feel fabric. I really like that. And again, it has the little string pull here with the little tab or the knob here. And as you can see, my bag is not full. I can still get quite a bit inside here. But I absolutely love these. And uh, yeah, I can keep these together. And I purchased this bag, this floral bag, uh, from Dollar Tree as well. And so I'm going to keep my Bible and all of my tools inside here my sticky notes and my notepad i'm keeping everything together that way i can just grab and go really cute they had this also in a i believe it was a teal green or a fuchsia pink i want to say um but sometimes when i put makeup on i may have it on my hands and i didn't want the handles to be dirty and things like that so i thought this was perfect well, i have my bible here and I'll just put my Bible inside here. Just to give you an idea, these things are really well made. I'm going to put my uh, case in here, my sticky notes I'm going to keep inside. And here. then I don't have my notebook in here. I left that in my bedroom. But as you can see, it can hold quite a bit of stuff. And it isn't overstuffed. I'm this is everything in the bag. Uh, so perfect. I absolutely love this bag. I also purchased uh, to-go cups. As you know, I love my cappuccino. And uh, I take these to work with me. Uh, I love this print. I got this one, uh, which just has a picture of coffee cups on it. Uh, this one is for my daughter. But I love this print. It has like cocoa and uh, I believe espresso and tea written all over it. And so I absolutely like these. Uh, it really doesn't matter about the print, but I think this, I like this print because it's so subtle. And then I saw these ice cream cups. They come a set of eight, which means you get four bowls and four spoons in here. And perfect for outdoors, but as hot as it is outside, I don't know if you can even enjoy ice cream outside. And of course, you know, I'm into my scarves. I absolutely love my scarves, whether it's around my neck or around my head, as you see today. Uh, and Dollar Tree has really stepped up their game on their scarves uh, and a lot of other items. But I really like the scarves. I bought two of these in the same print, one for myself and one for my daughter. But as you can see on the screen, they are pretty wide um, and pretty long. Um... I can spread my arms out and still have room to stretch it out. But these can easily be worn, like I said, around your head or around your neck. And so I really like this print because I think this can go perfect with a pair of blue jean shorts, a white t-shirt, and then give this little added pop of uh, print or color. Or you can put on um, a yellow or a pink little sundress and then wrap this around your head or around your neck that would be a great added touch but i also like this print which is nautical it has the little anchors on it i can see this with a pair of blue jean shorts and a white t-shirt or if you're wanting to dress up for fourth of july you can easily put on a pair of red shorts or a red pair of jeans a white shirt and then tie this around your head or tie this around your neck and there's your red white and blue i can easily wear this with um a white pair of shorts a white t-shirt and make this be my pop of color with a white pair of flip-flops or a white pair of cute sandals uh and then make this be like i said my pop of color perfect and then a red belt with the red the, uh the all white outfit and then add this to it Yes, very, very cute. And then the next item that I purchased, I want to put this on my gallery wall, but I'm looking for something to balance it out on the other side. I like to be symmetrical when I am uh, doing my gallery wall. Um, I don't want the same thing or the same item, but I do want another canvas. Um, this one says, start each day with a grateful heart. 
it is within my color scheme that's in my office and so i'm looking for another canvas like this and i think there's another one that has a different saying on it but it's plain and simple like this like i know you've already probably seen uh, the tour of my office or uh, the video of my gallery wall and if not i will put that up above i want to add more items to that wall i don't want to cover the entire wall but i only want to add maybe one or two items on each side which will give me a total of four items uh, but this is definitely going on that gallery wall that's the end of my haul and do you like my earrings they're different it's a lady with an afro i saw these in the beauty supply and i had to get them I don't normally wear earrings like this, but you know, on the weekends, perfect for a nice little outfit, my little African outfit and my head wrap like I like to wear. And what I'm wearing right now with a little bit more makeup and a dark lip, a nice little sundress or something. But yeah, I like them. They're cute. Anyway. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then what are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll know the next time that I upload a video. So until next time, guys, bye-bye.